Good morning, everyone. This is your Hall of Famer, Director Marlon Green, giving you the real and the positive manner. You have alternatives to watch now. No more excuses, okay? I'm giving it to you, the real deal, okay? Uh, ladies, advice to you all. Please cut out the helpless victim mentality because you have been prospering from the very system and cultural aspects from sexual exploitations. Many of you are not models and many of you are not actresses pretending to be. And those of you who are will do anything to get ahead so anything goes. Some of this stuff is definitely your fault. And uh, if you feel as though you are abused, you must know who is not abusing you. You must respect who doesn't have the bad reputation and you must help those men that are positive. A lot of these leaders are dysfunctional. A lot of these leaders are negative and they don't expect us to challenge them. But dealing with me, they have another thought coming. Amazon is not a good fit for Texas because Texas is a racist state. Now, they will try to hurry up and make hasty decisions just to get here. But the taxes is going to go up. The traffic is going to be much worse and the cultural atmosphere in Texas needs to be improved because having the KKK says that they're going to kill all of the black folks from the Dallas massacre is counterproductive. OK, uh, Texas is a place that do now think later. And anything that's done quickly, more than likely, isn't done right. So let's just take our time, realize the power structure of today's media and these women that claim they are victims of the very system that they prosper from. I'm a Hall of Famer. You all don't give me any, any uh, time of day because you will pass me up to deal with people like Weinstein, so I don't care, okay? Uh, there is a lot of sexual harassment mentality that has not changed since slavery. Minority women are used to being abused and helping other people, and we're going to have to file crimes of humanity charges on these black women that are in politics trying to concentrate among females and transgenders and gays, which is bullshit. In other words, they did not pull their weight to have all of this political action. And if these women are so abused, how come they can't identify men that are abused? That's my question. Okay. Uh... Dealing with me, they're just going to have to deal with the truth. A lot of these leaders are going to be challenged to make sure that they are doing their job right. So don't come to me with somebody that you say has a good reputation, that you say that's a good leader, that you say get things done. Talk to the grassroots leaders. That's who you talk to because these very leaders that don't like you will turn around and borrow your ideas and shut you out of your own opportunity. So until we recognize this as a whole, we're not trying to hear about you ladies cry about being sexually harassed, sexually assaulted, and you see job discrimination, you see racial discrimination, you see Jim Crow laws, and y'all don't say shit. The Queen of England is much more oppressive than the men are, and she's responsible for over half a million kids being missing 
yet you say nothing. And, uh, yeah, so if you're going to, if you're going to rep, uh, protection for women, we, uh, we real men need equal rights, equal protection, equal opportunity, because we are fewer than you are, and you have more than us and are less accomplished. So if you think you're going to gain more power, applying, applying, the claim the I'm the victim mentality or charade, it's just not going to help him because you can claim that you are being abused. But if you can't see the men that are being abused by the women and don't help, you're a hypocrite. And you African-American bitches, you should vote for Cynthia McKinney because she is solid and you are not. All you up there in the media helping these other cultures looks like damn fools and you're not going to concentrate more power under the victim cry victim mentality when most of you all prosper from it keep that shit real and get the fuck up out of here with that bullshit i'm telling you what you need to know and also uh queen elizabeth sons are inspired to be in movies because of me she know I know she's watching me and I call the shots throughout other dimensions and now she wants her sons to be something like me. Well, you can't be like me and under your mom's getting everything done through your mom. So don't I don't care if you're a prince or aristocrat, you are no match for me being micromanaged by your mom because being like me requires you to be a real man and you are not a real woman and you are not a real compassionate person if you don't recognize African Americans deserve reparations. And uh, that's what American African American women should be talking about. And make your own business. If y'all women don't want to be taken advantage of Make your own business. Make your own business. There is no reason for you all to keep hounding these men with sexual allegations charges when a lot of you all pursue the men to get something. So you're not going to be able to blame this on just the men when it's six to one in your favor and you see guys like me in the Hall of Fame, you don't even care. You are too insecure to even tell me good job. And so you are not going to climb the ladder of power playing, oh, well, I'm the victim. We got to be more consistent, baby. Nothing in life is free. And most of you all are lazy. That's why you're in this predicament. That's the real reason.